Hey you guys, thank you so much for downloading the Pippin Evie app. I know you're gonna love it. There are so many good features inside and great recipes. And it's going to make your kitchen experiences more fun and so much easier. So real quick, I just want to show you around the app and help you navigate through for your first couple of times. Once you have the app installed, tap the Pippin Ebby icon on your phone or tablet. The first time you sign into the app, you will have an option of either connecting with Facebook or signing up through email. Now that you're in the app, that little house icon on the lower left part of your screen will be your home screen. You can scroll down to see a variety of recipes on the screen. From here, you can click on any recipe that interests you. Once you're inside of a recipe, the plus sign on the upper right will allow you to save the recipe to your own personal cookbook. Now if you scroll down through the recipe, you'll see the amount of time it takes to make the recipe. You'll see the number of likes and the number of cookbooks it's saved in. You'll also see a number of servings and this is adjustable. When you adjust the number of servings, the amounts in the ingredient lists automatically change, which in my opinion is super cool and convenient. Under the list of ingredients, you'll see an email ingredients button. This allows you to send the ingredients and the ingredient amounts directly to an email like maybe to your husband's email. Keep scrolling down through the recipe and you'll see all the steps it takes to get the recipe done. At the very bottom, you'll see a section for comments and feel free to leave your own. You'll also see any photos that other users have uploaded and you'll also see other recipe suggestions at the very end. If you want to like the recipe and have it saved in your profile, click the heart on the upper right. Directly to the right of the heart is a send button. Use this button to share a link to the recipe through messaging, email, or even Facebook. The start cooking button is by far the coolest feature in this entire app. Once you click on this button, my voice will guide you through the entire recipe. Coat a 9 by 13 baking dish with cooking spray. Line the bottom of the pan with the bottom halves of the sweet rolls. As you complete each step of the recipe, tap on the check mark in the lower right. You'll be given access to timers when needed and even cooking demos. You'll get to see photos of each step too, so that will visually guide you through the recipe. Tapping your finger anywhere on the screen will bring up the list of ingredients. When you're finished, you have the option of taking a photo and uploading it. You can also at this point rate the recipe and leave a comment. When you're on the home screen, you will see the filter button on the top right part of your screen. This will allow you to narrow down your search based on what types of recipes you're looking for. There are two categories that you can filter through, popular ingredients and dish type. You can select one or multiple items in each category. You can also select items in multiple categories to narrow your search down even further. You can also filter through the recipes by the amount of time it takes to make the dish. In order to clear the filters from your home screen and start fresh, you do need to click on the clear button. There is another quicker way to filter through the recipes and that is by using the quick search. You can access Quick Search by clicking on the magnifying glass icon at the bottom of the screen. This will take you to 12 main categories that you will be able to browse through. To access your profile, click on the button on the lower right part of the screen. Here you can edit your profile so you'll be able to edit all of your personal information. This is also where you can quickly access any cookbooks you have saved and any recipes that you have liked. Within a cookbook, you can delete recipes by swiping to the left. You can also create new cookbooks from here and name them however you'd like to. Within your profile, click on the gear icon in the upper right to access settings. In here, you can do things like changing measurement units from metric to US or vice versa. And you can also replay the tutorial in case you need a little extra help navigating through the app. And last but not least, keep your eye on that notifications icon, which is the bell at the bottom of your screen. This will be my way of communicating with you and keeping you posted about anything important regarding the app. So that's it, you guys. I hope this video helps you get started with the app. 
enjoy your time in the kitchen and go make some great recipes. Thanks guys. Yeah.